Okay, good morning. This is a bit of an explanation of what went wrong with the bus bar saga. Um, basically, my own stubbornness. It wasn't anything else. There wasn't anything magical to it. I wanted it a certain way. I had it in my head. I wanted it to happen. I needed it to happen for my own... I wanted to make it YouTube-y. I wanted to do something that no, somebody hadn't done before. And I've got it all done here. And I fully intend on, at least at this point, to try and push on with it and trying to still continue to make something from it. At least make it work. Um, so as I get more tools or more knowledge or someone comes and helps me that can teach me something, this will be well and truly sidelined. Okay, so what have I done? All the bus bar was cut. Well, not all of it, but a lot of it. All the bars that I bought were cut. Um, and the problem. The problems were many. The problems, and that's, <laughs> that's one solid bar. It all melted together, and I, I could melt it back and break it, but I can't break that. So, the problem was being able to hold the copper wire in the slot and solder it over all at one time on the entire bar at once and it simply didn't work um, I spent a good a good few hours extremely frustrated and probably just as unproductively trying to get this to work heating it reheating it uh, using the barbecue using because the barbecue just heats it up it just it just provides a source of warmth so I was heating the bars up and I had a heated um, piece of like metal thick metal then I had a heated tile on top of it then I put it on top use me gas torch and try and get in there and it just I sucked at it so moving forward right out of the way This here, and the other camera angle just died, is a transformer out of a 48 volt, um, 48 volt server room UPS, and that took a long time to come out. Um, so I got two of these in the in the unit down there, and. What I did was I pulled that apart and I actually considered pulling it apart so I could get the copper, uh, the wire out, the solid core copper wire, but it was all covered in plastic so that didn't that didn't pan out. But what I ended up getting was a whole little bit of this copper. Um, and it was about eight meters long or something, so there's quite a bit of copper. Um, I thought, well the bus bars aren't working, so let's try something else. So Popped off the Bunnings, grabbed some um, oh, Masters actually, but it doesn't really matter. Got some tin snips that were brilliant, <laughs> if I should be honest. Um, got a piece of bus bar, etched a line, and out of each piece, I got three and some spares out of it. So I went out and cut my own bus bar. Which camera angle works? Don't know. Cut me bus bar, and then I got a dozen or so of these little bus bars that I've um, that I cut previously to actually go at the end here, and that didn't work. So reusing those, I actually used this one as an anvil and straightened out all the copper because it was all sort of wrinkled like that. So I use that as an anvil, straighten it all out. Um, twist over the end. Again, I don't know which camera is going to work, but it'll come up on one of them. Bet the ends over. And then just lined it up over the top. Yep, so I got it over the end of that. Uh, I'm not going to do it, I'm not going to actually do the process in here because. Oh, let's get rid of that! 
I got a piece of um, tile. Naturally, it wasn't done on the wood. Got some flux, just from Masters or Bunnings or wherever. Got myself a, a, a earbud. Just give it a good solid dob on each side. I really loaded it up. It's cheap stuff, and it's um, it does make the soldering a whole lot better. Then basically, I mean, it's just like anything else in this world. Lined it all up. Didn't take much to line it up. Gas torch. Heated it. Once that was burning, burning hot. Got the solder. Dropped the solder on there. Uh, didn't use the torch. And someone taught me this on YouTube. Didn't use the torch to melt the solder. I used the heat in the copper. And then it just flowed. Flowed into the joints. It's nowhere near as tidy as I want but it does work. So that brings us to the actual battery packs themselves. Okay, so the battery packs themselves are, um, so the bus bars are these bits of copper here with this bit of copper there. Now that's a bit loose still, I haven't secured that down. I've got some sticker flex I'm gonna actually um, <coughs> reinforce that with but until I actually work out because the way this is going to work there's going to come a mount that's going to come through there so I'm going to have bolts that come through here and here somehow um, so those bolts are probably going to hit the metal that's coming through there so I've got to work out whether or not I push these back whether I take them out at a 90 degree angle or whatever and that's the reason I've only done three or four of these three of these packs is just so I can I've got to go forward to go backwards I guess or go backwards to go forwards um, but then I can work out whether or not because obviously the packs going to be there let's get a couple more so the packs will sit like that this will be the top of the wall and I'll just have um, cable going from here around to here and I don't know whether I'm going to put the cable on the inside or the outside It'll go yeah, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive all the way along as it does. So, and I haven't worked out where that rack's going to sit, how the metal's going to sit, so I've only done a few for now. So, that brings me to fuses. Fuses, 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 fuses. Right. That is the positive side. That wire there is point one, uh, two five millimeter. Um, winding wire okay so that's the positive side now each one of them is connected up uh, the solder is not that good but I am learning and that's always a good thing so the wire itself is that wire there now it's very very fine wire and it blows at 4 amps. I'll get that in focus. It doesn't really matter, you can see it there. But you can see this is a different colour. Uh, different colour. So this one's sort of a copper, whereas it looks silver on there. Now what you actually have to do is all this, because this is winding wire, you need to remove the um, insulating coating on it. So basically all that I was doing is when I was removing the insulating coating, I would use the back of the soldering iron when I was doing the front of the when I was doing the soldering itself. I'd use the front of the soldering iron, and every time I did something, I cleaned it all off and whatever else. Uh, I went from here to here in one run with the cop with this wire, and I can't hold it across. And then I just went through with um, wire cutters and and cut it here and here, here and here, obviously, and trimmed it all up nice and neatly. I've also got underneath the copper. On the positive side, this tape, and it's um, that electrical heat tape, so the the the, the wires can't touch, and there's not going to like um, this bar is not going to actually touch the, the 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 solders that, let's face it, have been um, arguably arguably crappily done. But I'm still learning how to do this. 
it's it's a big process a big learning curve and one of the things that I found was now whether this is right or wrong it worked I got this stuff 6040 Bromac it's nice and thick I was using and I don't know where the other roll's gone but it was shit and I'm glad I haven't got it anymore I was using some of this um, but that didn't work that's very very fine stuff and it just chewed through so much then I tried using this now it is important to know that I don't know the differences this one here and this one here say they're the same but this one here is four years old and that one's new I don't know if there's any difference between the two but that one works just inordinately better than that one I don't understand why but that's that's how it is and I found and I'll sw switch cameras again and I found that going here when I'm actually doing the um, the soldering the bus bar to the actual wire I just got the tip and I pressed it down so hard that one I bent the tip over and over again but I pressed it down so hard it made a little in indentation and then if I got the um, the solder and touched it to the very tip of the soldering iron for a tenth of a second and just let it sit there until it actually flowed down onto the board onto the the copper it worked perfectly and as I get better at it you can see that you know some of them are looking quite tidy every every other one's messy but you know that one there that's horrible but that just didn't stick I didn't take enough of the um the coating off that to actually get it to stick to the wire um, after I done that did the negative side now the negative side is done a little bit differently in the fact that I need a piece of negative wire I used this stuff now this stuff okay so this wire here uh, is on the negative side and it is just the wire out of 50 cents a meter um, the cheapest possible electrical cable I could find from masters so all I did was strip that out and you only need it I only used a meter one meter of this stuff to do this one side so for 40 cents 50 cents a dollar you're gonna get enough copper to do dozens of these battery packs so that's pretty cool okay so again all that I did was put the copper from one side to the other and did the four terminals um, and then just went through and trimmed it it worked very very well um, and it also helped hold this copper bar down so again pressing the um, this this side's a little bit different because the what this wire took took a little bit of the heat away um, but pressing down in the middle I don't think I don't I think you can notice the indentations all the way along but again this I don't know which one I did first but I'll tell you what I think there's a lot more horrible than this one so I am getting better at it so that's the negative side and the positive side I'm just going to do the positive side with the fuse I don't really think it matters which side um, I also had the thought about doing both sides with the fuses um, but it does take longer so I'm not going to go that way even though it's probably going to be safer so I hope that answers some questions on the bus bars um, if you've got any questions ask because I am trying to make this not about me hoarding all this information I'm trying to make it about putting it out there without actually teaching you anything I really don't want to teach anything anything because let's face it I'm still learning myself so don't take this as a lesson on how to do it or how not to do it this is simply how I am doing it love it like it rate it or hate it I don't care um, Paul gave me the idea for that I was suggested using it but I didn't use it because of the coating I didn't realize after I saw Paul's video you just burn it off and it, it, it's really not even a problem it works well you go through with a multimeter do it um, Paul did go through with a multimeter and um, in continuity test each cell uh, on each side I reckon I had at least 10 cells that didn't work so that part is really really important get your multimeter set it to continuity send it to audio so you just go through and you tap each cell 
See, tapping cell. And it just gives you a beep and you know that there's a, there's an electrical current there. So, thanks for watching. See you next one.